Welcome back to Go Engineers YouTube channel. I'm Agustin Jimenez. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to create a smart component for your SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D database. However, the process is the same for your general SOLIDWORKS. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. To create a smart component, you'll need a couple of things. You'll need a main subject model. This could be a model that you create in SOLIDWORKS or a downloaded model. Mate references are optional, but beneficial. They help in uh, facilitating the assembly process. You'll need a setup assembly that will allow you to then create features, add additional components such as hardware, and then finally, we will use the make smart component command. For this example, I'll be using this disconnect as my main subject model. And I'm going to add a coincident mate reference to facilitate the assembly process. The mate reference command can be found by selecting the drop down under reference geometry on the features tab. You can select up to three references a primary reference, secondary, and tertiary. Now we're ready to add this to our assembly. I'll insert my component snap it into place with my mate reference and I'll add a parallel mate just to finish it off here. Next I will edit this door component in the context of the assembly and I'll add some sketches to create my features. So I'll add one sketch here to create an extruded cut for the shaft. And I'll extrude this. This will be my first feature to include. I'll add a second feature by converting these mounting holes to sketch entities. and extruding these as a cut as well. This will be the second feature that I will include in my smart component. We will then exit editing the component in the context of the assembly and move on to adding components. In this case, I'll be using smart fasteners such as these socket head cap screws. Finally, we will use the make smart component command. Select our main subject model, any components that we want to include, such as these socket head cap screws, and finally, our features. We are now ready to incorporate our smart component to our SOLIDWORKS electrical database. Head on over to Manufactured Parts Manager. Select our manufactured part. Go to Properties. Scroll down to 3D Part. And browse to our location of our smart component. And now this component is integrated into our database and can be used on projects. I will open an existing project and head on over to the 3D space. We are now ready to insert our component. and take advantage of our mate reference by creating a coincident mate. I'll add one additional mate and by selecting the thunderbolt that you see on the disconnect or by right clicking and selecting insert smart feature, we can enable the smart feature insert, select our reference face and finish the command. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Bye for now.